Nashville is one step closer to a permanent license plate reader network. Metro Council approved that move last month with strong support from Metro Police. But this all takes place as a new mayor is about to step foot inside City Hall. A mayor who voted against the LPR plan as a council member. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb takes a look at what the expanded network might actually cost. As mayor-elect Freddie O'Connell gears up to take office following his election win, Metro is one step closer to a permanent license plate reader network. New documents show the city is willing to pay three companies a total of up to $4.1 million for the LPRs. Metro police say the LPRs will help solve serious crimes in Nashville. But as councilman, Mayor-elect O'Connell voted against the continued use of LPRs. As a software technology professional, when you have a large database of data like that that has got in, insufficient guardrails around it, later this can create new classes of victims for stalkers, uh, people going through divorce, anything that's access to cancer treatment, mental health. You opposed expanding the license plate reader program. Last week, he told News Channel 5 political analyst Pat Nolan on Inside Politics, while the LPR plan will go forward, Forward, he still has privacy concerns. I support Chief Drake's recognition that this is an important tool and to me it's now how we implement it to protect people's privacy while also adding safety. And Tuesday we got further insight about what might change with LPRs under Mayor O'Connell. He told us in part, I'm concerned about the lack of community input involved in the placement of cameras in the pilot as well as the early data suggesting that cameras are in areas that are predominantly minority populations. No decisions have been announced about where exactly to put the new LPRs yet, with this as perhaps one of the first major programs to roll out under a new mayor. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. All right, we'll see what happens. Jason, thank you. And we have Mayor-elect O'Connell's full statement on LPRs on our website. That's newschannel5.com.